Uncle Pre escapes from the stairwell, the last, the fourth one, by using his teeth, a uh, rope that was in the chest that he was stuffed in, it was a rope ladder. He uses fiber from that in his teeth and a little bit of magic of his own and he uh, basically grinds his teeth on the stone wall to create a portal and he ends up in Mythardir which is the uh, it is a plane of Arborea also known as Olympus in the outer planes. He uh, it's a sandy uh, white sandy place, wind blowing, you know, kind of hard to see, but the characters can follow his footsteps and they will come up to a tent pavilion, you know, like some nomadic kind of people there, uh, different types, different creatures, uh, but the ones more natural to this plane. And they're all sitting around a table underneath this tent having uh, some sort of toxic brew, and there's Uncle Primus, and or Uncle Pri as he's known. And there he is, uh, half the teeth out of the front of his mouth, and a little bit of blood, dried blood, down the side of his face. And uh, he welcomes everybody up to have a drink. He's already kind of soused, uh, but he does recognize uh, that it is his nephews, nieces, what have you. And uh, then he'll have to explain what's going on. Primus's instructions. He's going to begin with saying that, uh, or letting the party know that he's infused them with the power to create portals. And he did this for a couple of reasons. But he tells them that the only way to get whoever has discovered his secret, they don't know about yours, but his secret is to eliminate that person. And he thinks he has an idea who it is, kind of a mid-manager so to speak and uh, he believes that person is actually uh, probably operating out of Sigil but he's not sure but he still he thinks he has a good idea who it is and uh, he thinks the best way to do is to go investigate at one of this person's uh, little stronghold kind of things it could be a tavern it could be uh, house, uh, an outpost, um, but the thing is, is to track down his lackeys and get to him, and whether this person operates in Sigler or not, he'll try to figure out, but the person will be most powerful on their own plane, or some or a plane nearby, it gives him a little bit more influence. So that will be the goal for the characters is to start hunting for um, who these people are and take them out catch them by surprise start chasing them instead of them chasing you and at the same time learn more about your portal abilities which is uh, going to um, it's going to involve the book the book's help and um, and just practicing and He's also explained as well, too, that the book, that's just an aid, and it's actually something he created uh, in his early days. But once he realized the full potential of, of what he could do, who he was, which now the characters are, then uh, once you realize how to create portals, then uh, if you've got the right components and such, then it's unlimited where you can go. There's a price to be paid for knowing how to do this, and that's one of those reasons. The Lady of Pain, the, the, the head over Sigil, is going to uh, uh, insist that you be on her side. So you can always go before the Lady. Right now the thing is we got to get off this plane. Now with these materials around us, we may not be able to. So starts the adventure.